muscle, we all know, is, a, uh, is an issue with the serratus anterior for one or the long thoracic nerve for two. And it's gonna be one of the two. So now here's the deal. The problem, let's go like this. The problem isn't just the, uh, am, am I jacking up your flow, by the way, if I'm over here? Okay. So the problem isn't just the fact that that scapula doesn't move the way it's supposed to, it's that it peels away from that rib cage because that serratus anterior sits underneath and has to glue that back down. Now the issue, we can work all the strength we want on that serratus anterior to try and bring it back. That's gonna do pretty much nothing. So all these guys doing all these like serratus anterior strengthening drills, they're missing the big picture. And I'm not saying it to pick on anybody, I'm just saying that because there's so much more going on. So we have that pec minor attaches to that coracoid. It's gonna drag that scapula forward. We got the levator scap that's gonna round the shoulders forward and bring them up and in, right? Cause that, uh, that levator does that rotation of that scapula. We've got the lower fibers of the trapezius that also affect how that scapula rolls. And then we've got the rhomboid. So we see there's all this stuff. Plus if that serratus itself is really, really tight, it doesn't matter how much you strengthen it, it's still really short and, and chronically loaded. So I'm gonna show you a couple of things to look for first. So I'm gonna give you two tests to do and one is just a basic side posture test so you, what you're gonna do is just take a look at yourself turn on your phone or whatever now I'm doing it kneeling you can do this standing it's probably better what you want to do is you want to look at the shoulder so you're gonna look at the lateral portion of the shoulder the ear and the hip and you want to see where your shoulders are so if they're rolled forward now we know so if your shoulders are already like this now we know that we can't just strengthen that serratus anterior because there's more going on so listen, all the guys that are doing this stuff, all right, all these exercises, just stop, that's garbage. There's so much more going on, so stop doing it. So I'm gonna give you two tests to quickly assess how well the scapula moves and whether it's winged or not, and then what we're gonna do about it. So the first one is, you're gonna stand up, so I'm gonna do these kneeling, but you're gonna bring your hands at your sides, and I'm gonna show you from the side first and then from the back. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna bring palms down, you're gonna bring your arms all the way up overhead, you're gonna do this in front of a phone and you're gonna look at what your shoulders are doing. So if they're uneven or if that scapula flares out. So from the back, you're just gonna raise your arms all the way up and you're gonna look to see if that scapula is moving around. That's number one. Number two is get up against the wall, palms like this, and you're gonna push against the wall. If that scapula pops out on one side or the other, what's gonna end up happening is, you'll see, if you get the scapula against the wall, or the hands against the wall. When we push, we should see that scapula stay nice and tight against the wall. So if you don't, or nice, nice and tight against the rib cage, if we don't, what you wind up with is either a long thoracic nerve, which none of this will help, or a shortening of the front and a tightening and a weakness in the back. So here's the three things you're gonna do to first of all, stretch it out. What we need to do is we need to find some space. So we can do this all seated, make it nice and easy. Let's do this first. So we can kind of move around. So we can see if we can completely get in Ashley's way on purpose. Why? Because we love her. So you're gonna get up again, so I look like I'm standing here for a mug shot. By the way, she's a police officer, so I gotta be careful, right? Mandatory reporter, I can't say anything bad. So school teachers are too, nurses, doctors, I guess we all are, so we're all screwed. So what you wanna do is you wanna hit that levator scap. So the levator scap, everybody knows, is down and away. So you're gonna look down at the opposite hip, but there's a way to really connect to that. So you're gonna bring your arm all the way up, and you're gonna turn and bring your head all the way down. And you're gonna hang out like this for two minutes. That is number one. Oh, that's miserable. Wow. All right, number two is we're gonna get in a set of rings. Now this is a unique one because we wanna hit the lower fibers of the trapezius and this is kind of tricky so i got a set of rings right here what we do with the rings is we just let ourselves hang down so fully extended i'm going to load the rings this way and let my body weight take me there so i'm actually letting the shoulders depress or elevate rather as high as they can while trying to flare my lats out so trying to pull the shoulder blades into protraction Hang out like this, again, two minutes. That's number two. Number three, we can do right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in quadruped, get all this stuff out of the way before I kick the bucket over. We're gonna get really wide. What we wanna do is we wanna push this portion of the thoracic spine out. So we're gonna round out as much as we can, right? So round out, round out, round out. 
and then sink back while in that rounded position as far as we can, and then come all the way back up in that rounded position, and then reset back to neutral. That is number three. So those are the three stretches you wanna do. Now what we wanna do is we wanna strengthen that serratus anterior. There's a couple of really cool ways to do it. So the first one is we're gonna grab a kettlebell and we're gonna do basically a static load with some protraction. So we grab the kettlebell, wind it up into external rotation. You don't have to worry about any of this stuff. We're not doing a stability drill. I would just hold my hand here a little lightly just to kind of keep it stable. And then just drive the scapula all the way up as far as you can, get the shoulder blade off the ground, and then come all the way back and sink it back into the ground. So the rep looks like this. I'm gonna drive all the way up, real slow, and all the way back down. All the way up, and all the way back down. Three sets of 20. Now I realize that's kind of ugly, but it's effective. That's number one. Number two is you're gonna wrap this around. So you can see I've got a band, light band, okay? Light, light band. And we wanna go into the band like this. So the band is all the way around behind my back. I'm gonna sit, knees bent. The band is loaded, so I'm again externally rotating. I'm gonna let the scapula pro or retract, and then I'm gonna press both out and then I'm gonna to reset to that neutral position. So I'm gonna push out against the band and then come all the way back. Three sets of uh, 20. That's number two. And number three is what we call a cherry picker, which is never a good thing when you're playing soccer, but a super good thing when you're trying to fix scapular stability. So wrap this around. Again, light band, this is a half inch, quarter inch band. Wind up so the band is on the outside. And what we're gonna do is, so I'll stand this way. We're gonna push out, and we're gonna keep pushing out. So we're trying to protract that scapula without rotating the torso. So push out, and then reach all the way up while pushing out, and then come all the way back down, and then retract the scapula. So all the way like this, push out, reach all the way up, and then all the way back down, and then retract the scapula. So three sets of 10 for that one, because that one's kind of ugly, but it works on a lot of stability. You want to fix your shoulders, and you want to clean up that wing scapula and kind of do it all in one fell swoop. That's all you got to do. Hey, listen, I'm Travis Smashworks, hanging out with the ladies at CSA. I will check you guys out tomorrow.